Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a rather windy night. I'm going to have to play Gone with the Wind tonight, I think, aren't I? Um, if you're based in this part of the world, in other words, Europe, sort of a loosely based Europe, um, it's pretty windy out there. It's very stormy. It's been very stormy for the past couple of days, but tonight is rather extreme. So I hope uh, you're safe wherever you are around the world. Um, I've been hearing from friends and colleagues over in the Netherlands and over in the UK as well that things are pretty, phew, pretty heavy going. Now, here in this part of Germany, down in the Westerwald, we're slightly further south than all of this. So um, we've had some pretty windy weather, but um, nothing terribly serious. Yesterday, some trees came down in the forest behind, behind the village, but um, nothing terribly serious. So I hope you're safe where you are and I hope we'll be safe here and I hope we have electricity for the rest of the night as well. Those are the kinds of things that happen, you know, when uh, when things go crazy. So welcome along. It's Friday night is organ music night and yes, the title of this evening's performance is New Organ and later this evening we will be looking at a brand new organ, a brand new, not just new to me, a brand new sample set. Um, I think I'm probably the first to show it in a live stream anyway and uh, yes, wonderful stuff. Uh, so we'll get to that later. So do, st do stick around, do hang around, we've got some rather exciting things. Now I am here, I'm playing around with Alessandria again as usual and I've been... Um, been playing around with some registrations. Now, these are registrations I used for, wait for it, wait for it. These are some registrations I used for some of the compositions for the new CD project. Fraser Gartrow's Organ Works. Yes. Well, I have news. I have positive news. Everybody who ordered a copy of Fraser Gartrow's Organ Works will tomorrow, Saturday, receive the download version. Yeah, that's how exciting that news is. It's going to come out. Now, um, the Gamer stuff, still haven't heard anything. Still haven't heard anything. So, um, yeah, but I've taken the matter into my own hands this time, and I'm going to send you the download version of the files. Now, keep them to yourselves. If you are one of the people who bought or pre-ordered a copy, then don't please send it around to all your friends and family, which sounds like a nice thing, but please don't. Uh, this is only for you, okay? So, um, so uh, please bear that in mind, yeah? Um, we don't have the official green light to distribute the music as yet, but I'm doing it anyway, because it's my music, so why can't I do it? So, yes, so tomorrow at the very latest, well, let's just say tomorrow, at some point during the day tomorrow, you will receive a download link from me and you will be able to get your hands on those files. So to whet your appetite for those things, I'm going to use some of the registrations I used on some of the recordings. So that was one I used for, um, for a piece of music for a guy called Daniel. I'm not going to say any more than that. So that was rather exciting. Now, something that I will be doing is, uh, there's, you, know, you know, you know me and the kinds of stuff I like to do. and. Um, one of the pieces that was requested was a sort of romantic style piece along the lines of something like, let's say, Prelude in D, all that kind of stuff. So um, I, of course, have my lovely sort of luscious sounds and crescendos for that. So let's see if you like it. Here is an improvisation on a, I don't know, on a maybe on a windy theme. Let's find out.
Ah, nothing beats the old tuba. Isn't that a wonderful invention? Every organ should have one. Wouldn't that be great? Um, now, we've got a lot to get through tonight. Now, oh, did you spot my new toy? No. Uh, did no you, do you like it? Yeah, Vanessa's saying everyone seems to like it. Yes, we finally splashed out and bought. Remember we had the, the sort of, um, this is my iPhone that we use for this angle. And um, normally it was sort of the one over my shoulder. And we just had a sort of normal sort of, you know, normal tripod thing. And we've just splashed out and bought a sort of an arm, a long arm for that tripod. You know, you sort of attach it to the tripod and it stretches out over there. So finally we've got a camera angle over my head so that you can see what my paws are up to when I'm playing. A lot of people, a lot of people want that apparently. So there you are. That's how this works. Now, a lot to get through this evening. And here's the first of many requests. And this is a lovely, fun piece of music. It's a piece of music I've never come across before. That's not true, actually. Um, I do know of it, but I've never played it before. And I think we can pretty much um, stick to these registrations. Uh, I might play this twice tonight. I might play it once on this organ and then once later on, um, on a theatre organ because this is good fun. Now, this is a piece of music that was requested by our friend, someone who's here all the time, one of our most faithful followers and supporters, Mr. Wolfgang Koenig. And everyone sees Wolfgang's name in the... In the, uh, in the chat there. If you're not watching the chat, go and click the chat. By the way, if you're in the chat and you haven't already given us your thumbs up and your plus one to let me know you've given us a thumbs up, uh, then please do. That helps, helps the algorithms find us. We spread the word about organ music, which is rather good fun. Now, um, Wolfgang, Wolfgang has requested a rather wonderful piece of music. Um, Remember back in the good old days of orchestral music, this is from 1920, and it's a German piece by, from 1920. The composer was Robert Stolz, Robert Stolz, uh, which basically, Stolz is the word for proud, um, but Robert Stolz, good old Jewish name, and uh, Robert Stolz composed this wonderful piece of music called Salome, Salome, um, and it was, it was one of those sort of, yeah, like an orchestral foxtrot, but it's called an oriental foxtrot. So, um, yes, so get your belly dancing outfits out and let's do the Salome foxtrot. This is rather cute. Now, like I said, I've never played this before. I just printed it out about 20 minutes ago. So uh, let's see what we can make of it. Salome, and this is for Wolfgang.
Salome. Isn't that cute? Ich, ich, darf ich noch fragen von Romo, ja? Ja. Ist das als Transkription ist oder das als Partitur? Ähm, Partitur. Ja, ja, ja. Oh, uh, good question. It's, I have this. I have a piano. Can you see this? I have a piano line and a melody line, and that's it. That's all I have. So it's not the it's not the uh, score. Who asked that? Sonia. Sonia. Auf Deutsch. Auf Deutsch. Alles klar. Ähm, nein, das ist nicht die Partitur. Das ist eine. Ja, was ist das denn? Das ist eine eine Klavierausgabe. Eine Klavierausgabe. Ähm, ja, Klavierstimme, Melodiestimme, also äh, Gesangsstimme und ein paar Akkordzeichen. Mehr habe ich nicht. Aber schön, ne? Wo der Wolfgang das gefunden hat, weiß ich nicht. Frag ihn mal. So, thank you very much, Mrs. Gartron. That can go to the archives. That was a cute little piece, wasn't it? So, there you are, Wolfgang, that was for you. That was for you. Now, We've had a lot of birthdays this week. Bet you didn't know that. A lot of birthdays. So let's get some birthdays over and done with. Oof. Um, I think we need to change. Oh, no, let, let's leave that for this. Um, first of all, we're going to sing happy birthday for everybody. Now, as far as I know, three people have had birthdays this week. Can I have the list there, please? Um, on. On, 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 on. It's on the other side, vielleicht, oder? On the other side, Yeah. Was steht auf der anderen Seite? Wo ist unsere Geburtstagsliste? Ja, da. Okay, so we had on the on the 15th of February we had Ken Molden. Is Ken here tonight? Ken, are you here? Yeah. Are you here, Ken? It was Ken's birthday a couple of days ago, so we'll play for Ken in a moment. Um, it was Alexander Wunderlich's birthday yesterday. Alexander's here. I see him in the chat. Uh, Alexander, and today. Today, someone who's not in the chat, oder? Is Graham da? Come on, he's No. Graham Twist's wife, Mrs. Twist. It's Julie's birthday today. Today. So yes. Yeah, so now I'm not sure whether they're celebrating or whether they're tying themselves to the house walls, you know, to hold themselves in. Um, so let's sing three happy birthdays. So that's one for Ken, the first one. Second one for Alexander. Happy birthday, Alexander. Yeah, that fits. And the third one is for Julie. And we'll do them in three different keys, all right? So I'm going to play it and you're going to sing it. Happy birthday. So first of all, Ken. Second, Alexander. And then Julie. Oh my goodness, it's everybody's birthday today. Orgel Haas's birthday and Matt Leach. Ah, Matt. Matt Leach is 66. I always thought Matt was a young guy. Matt was a young guy. There we are. Matt, you are young at 66, aren't you? All right, let's do it two more times then. That's one for Orgel Hase, which means organ bunny, translated. That's cute. Organ bunny. Is organ bunny a man or a woman? Do we know? We don't know. Organ Bunny, are you male or female? Do let us know. Uh, so let's sing for Organ Bunny or Orgel Hase. And let's once more for Matt as well. All right, let's keep going up in keys. We were just, where were we? We started in F, F sharp, G. So we're going to A flat now for Organ Bunny, Orgel Hase. Ready? One, two. Up to A major for Matt. (laughs) 
and someone else had the birthday yesterday. Whose birthday was it yesterday then? Patrick Peach. Patrick, Peach. Patrick right, okay, last time for Patrick, and this is in B flat now. We're going to do a jazzy version for Patrick's. Patrick. That's it. No more birthdays. No more birthdays. Now, I had a request from Alexander Wunderlich for a piece of music for his birthday, and we shall look at that in a moment because we're going to use the new organ for that. So, let's load up this new organ. Now, there we go. Right, press all the right buttons, and we get a new organ loading. Now, this takes a while because it's new. Um, just the other day, just the other day, a renowned sample set creator, uh, legendary sample set creator, uh, Sonus Paradisi, introduced the world to a new organ. Now, Sonus Paradisi is, of course, famous for absolutely amazing sample sets. I've got Billerbeck here, but, you know, the big ones like Rotterdam are out there. Martini, Saint Martini, I think is probably even better, and the Martini Kirk, and are just wonderful stuff. Some of the most famous sample sets out there, and of course some of the best, come from Sonus Paradisi. Now, Sonus Paradisi has just released a new sample set, an American sample set, a Skinner organ. Now, this is a Skinner organ from San Francisco, and it's been changed around over the years, but the sample set itself is is amazing. Now, well, it's loading quite quickly actually, look at that. It's loading quite quickly. Now, it comes in two parts and this is rather exciting. Now, this is just an introduction to it tonight. I will be, don't worry, I will be doing, um, I will be doing a proper demonstration of, actually now let's do that the other way around. I'll do a proper full demonstration of this organ very soon uh, on the channel here and uh, but what I want to show you tonight I want to show you tonight is this is a, a two-part organ. Now part one, you can't really call it a demo organ, that's not true. Um, it's a complete instrument in itself, part one, it, and it's a free version. Sonus Paradisi is offering it for free. And like I said, it's not a demo version. You know, some demo versions of sample sets get released and there's, you know, a few stops and things. You can't really use it for anything fully, you know what I mean? And this is a sort of self-contained small Skinner organ, the demo version. And what I've done, I've set up, this is the full version by the way, um, but I've set up, I've set up this in such a way that I can play just the stops from the sample version, the, uh, the demo version, the free version, I think that's the better way of putting it. And um, it's rather beautiful, wait till you hear this, there's some rather lush flute celestes on this world, listen to this. That's a very gentle sound, so you might have to turn your speakers up there, yeah? Um, uh, this is deliberate because when we get to the full organ, it's incredibly loud. So these are the very soft, gentle stops. There's some stringy stuff. It's a four manual instrument, even the demo version. Um, a beautiful clarinet, which is rather delicious. Let me get my swell pedals going. And a beautiful harmonic flute here on the grid. So let me play around with that a little bit. And I've got a crescendo up to the full uh, volume one. Okay, so this is as far as volume one goes. So listen to this. Wrong manual. <clears throat>
Ah, uh, okay. What's the? Ah, uh, here. Okay. Yeah, that's the free version of the organ. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? From the softest stuff. That's why I said at the beginning, you know, turn up your headphones. But don't worry, it gets really loud. And this. Ooh, a flute celeste. Now you know as much as I do, or you know me probably better than I know myself. I love a flute celeste. Oh my my, isn't it beautiful? That's a wonderful sound. Now, that's the free version of the organ. Isn't that amazing? Sorry, uh, Ro D was talking about uh, some of the stops there. Some of the stops there. And yeah, let's have a look at one or two of the little stops. You asked, what did you ask for? The Erzähler. Yeah, an Erzähler is a, it's a stop you get on a lot of American organs. And it's sort of, you know the poor tune you get on the uh, Nitra organ? It's, it's something in between, sort of in between. It's, it's a part string, part diapason, part flute. It's this. nice isn't it and you know there's lots of lovely stops on this thing and like I say I will be doing a proper demonstration of it very soon there is of course a tuba on it listen to this that's not very loud is it we need to open the box <laughs> yes it has a tuba which means we can go completely crazy here then is the full organ. Now the full organ, this is volume two of the organ, I think currently selling for just under 400 euros. So head on over to uh, the Sonus Paradisi website and check that out. Now, the, like I said, the, the, the free version, volume one, is, it's, a, it's an organ in itself, yeah? And it, it's slightly limited, I'll give you that. But once you've heard this, wait till you hear this, once you've heard the full works, oh my goodness, just get on over there and get it. It's absolutely wonderful. It's Wow, oh, it's lovely.
<laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wow. And that is that, you know, that's, I think that's, um, of all the sample sets I have, or I have played, let's put it like that, of all the sample sets I have or I have played, I think that is the largest dynamic range between soft and loud. That's unbelievable, isn't it? That soft, 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 soft sound. There's even softer sounds in that, by the way. I forgot to mention that. It's a four manual instrument, 88 stops, huge, 88 stops. And um, three of them are some rather clever stuff on an echo division. The echo division is miles away in the church and it's, um, it's even quieter. I'm not even gonna put my headphones on for this, but uh, you'll be able to hear this very, if you're very quiet, you can hear it. It's not even coming through. I can't hear a thing. I should have ended my piece like that, shouldn't I? It's even quieter. And it's enclosed in a swell box of its own, so it becomes even quieter. And now the full version of this organ like this is um, available in three, three, what's the word I'm looking for? Three channels. So you've got a direct channel, dry, a dry channel, right up close to the pipes. Then you have what's called a diffuse channel and a rear channel back in the church. Now, for RAM reasons, my limit, my limited PC with 64 gigabytes of RAM, limited. Um, I can only, you know, at full whack, you know, that's with all the bells and whistles, everything. Um, all the samples, all the releases, all the, you know, all the bits and pieces. Um, I can only get four, four of the six channels in there. So I've got the direct ones and the real ones, the ones back at the back of the church. And I've sort of mixed them to make it sound as authentic and uh, convincing as possible. But yeah, isn't that a wonderful instrument? Now I think Sonus Paradisi has done an absolutely amazing job with that. And like I say, I will be featuring it very soon in more detail. Now, um, Sid was asking, can you play the lowest note on the organ by itself? Yes, I can. This organ has got three, oops, three 32 foot stops. It has a Bourdon 32, it has a Diapason 32, which is an open stop, and it has a Bombard 32. And right down at the bottom, they sound like this. There you are. <clears throat> Everyone's fascinated by 32 foots on organs. Um, there are some 64 foots out there, believe it or not, which is, of course, well below the actual realm of human hearing. So it's just basically moving wind, um, moving air. So you feel it, you don't hear it. Uh, much like the bottom end of a 32, you kind of, if you're in a church where there's a 32 foot rumbling away properly, you feel it more than hear it. It's wonderful, wonderful. Now, a piece of music that was requested and I think fits rather nicely on this organ because of its tuba. He sa I said this famously because I haven't played it, I've just, um, I've just registered it and I'm going to sight read it now. And this is for uh, uh, Alexander, this is for Alexander Wunderlich, whose birthday was yesterday. And Alexander sent me some music. Can I play this, please? <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, I don't know if I can play it, Alexander. We'll find out in a moment. It's a piece of music by Handel. Georg Friedrich Händel, otherwise known as George Frederick Handel, and um, this is Where'er You Walk, which is from one of his, um, one of his uh, oratorios, I think, isn't it? Um, and uh, yeah, this is actually, an, this is the, the official organ arrangement by Jonathan Scott, so if you don't watch the Scott Brothers duo, go and check them out. Wonderful, 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 wonderful organ player, John Scott, Jonathan Scott. And his brother Tom does sort of all the filming and all this stuff. But Tom himself is a wonderful piano player and they do lots of duets. If you don't know the Scott brothers, go and check them out. They're wonderful. And Jonathan does lots of transcriptions of lots of things. And this arrangement is from 2019. And Alexander obviously bought it for me. Thank you very much for that. And uh, I'm going to try sight reading it now. Like I say, I've registered the order. Jonathan was very, very uh, strict about what he wanted in his uh, registrations which I have ignored and uh, to make it more exciting. So this is a bit of handle for Alexander and it sounds hopefully something like this.
bit of sight reading there. Sorry for the registration fluff in the middle. I thought I was somewhere. Where did I miss? I missed something out, obviously. I missed something out. There's a lovely bit in the middle where the tuba comes in. Did you spot that? Um, I missed that. Sorry, Alexander. I got that little bit wrong. Let me play that middle bit again, as I think that's so much fun. Um, there we are. So that's that. Let me play the middle bit again. Huh? Bitte, bitte. That's better. That's kind of what it's supposed to sound like. That weren't exactly the right notes either there. Um, bit of sight reading never does anyone any harm. That's a lovely arrangement. Thank you, Jonathan. And thank you, of course, Alexander. And happy belated birthday. It was Alexander's birthday yesterday. Ah, that's what I was looking for earlier. That piece of paper there. Okay, never mind. There we are. Now, isn't that a wonderful piece of music? Isn't that a wonderful organ to be playing things on? I think it's wonderful. Shall we have another listen? Let's have another listen. And let's have another one of those crescendos there. This time I'm going to start on a different registration. And let's have, let's have something improvised again. Lots of improvising tonight. Don't worry, we're going to move on to the jazzy world in a minute or two. Let's have a different key.
That is quite an amazing instrument, isn't it? By the way, that section, that, uh, that chord sequence there, that's, um, that's another little giveaway from the new CD that's coming. Um, and one of the pieces, one of the pieces, um, it's one of those kinds of pieces, you know, where there's a great crescendo and that chord progression, that's something I came up with, something I came up with, I was faffing about with an organ, I can't remember which one it was, and I came up with these wonderful chords. Great. I'm going through all the chords, all the different harmonies you can go through. Um, absolutely wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful, fun gefragt. stuff. Jemand hat gefragt. That there. Yeah. Um, auf Deutsch or auf Englisch? Englisch. Auf Englisch. Someone was asking, what's all this at the side of my screen there? Well, yeah, th this is something I don't understand myself. Down at the bottom of it, here, J is Jerry watching? Jerry, are you there? Jerry, are you there? Perhaps Jerry can help me out here. Now, down at the bottom of the screen, mach mal Bildschirm bitte. Mach mal Bildschirm. Down at the bottom of the screen, you get this little sort of, this row of goodies here, yeah? And normally, I'll show you this in another one in a minute, normally that's sort of a list of my, here, these things, my stepper it's called, yeah? And I can see stepper 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and all the rest of that. And for some reason, it's not on this organ, it's this. And I have no idea what CPC, I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. And I don't need it. I want to see my stepper combination. So this up here on the right of the screen is my registration menu so that I can see, look at this little thing here, look at this moving around, yeah? I can see my numbers here, my little steps that I've programmed, all the different registrations I've programmed. And I can see them there. Normally, I can see it down here. And for some reason on this organ, it's not. And I have no idea if it's this or, or if it's something else. So, um, I have no idea if it's that or if it's something else. So, um, yeah, if anyone can help me with that, Jerry is the guru. Jerry is our Hauptwerk guru. I noticed this on another organ recently, so I'm not sure if it's something that's happened since Hauptwerk 7 has appeared. But it's most annoying because I need to see my steppers. So that's why I've got that screen. I will click it away and it's gone, you see. So there's that screen gone now. Now, if I load another organ, I was about to load up our theatre organ for some jazzy stuff. For some jazzy stuff. Oh, Jerry Martin, easy fix. That's good. Jerry, send me a message and uh, we'll sort it out. Private message, please, Jerry. And we'll sort that out. Great. Because I have no idea. Because look, here. Now, look, here. Mach mal Bildschirm bitte noch mal. Hast du? Yeah. Okay, see, look at this now. Now I've got my stepper combinations, and this is wonderful. So that when I'm running up and down my combinations using my pistons, my things that I press with the thumb all the time, I can see it moving up and down, and that's absolutely wonderful. And that's what I kind of need to be able to see. Okay, that's fine, thank you. I kind of need to be able to see what's going on there, and uh, yeah, that's kind of important. Now, what I'm going to do here is change to some, some of my usual registration stuff and I'm going to play a piece of music for... Vanessa, haben wir das Bild von Joe immer noch? Von Joe immer? Ja. Haben wir das Bild von Joe? Ja. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you. Once again, we introduced you to him on Sunday evening, but I don't think he was there watching. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Joe Humans. Click. There's Joe, and Joe's in the chat tonight. His name is Joe Humans, and um, now whether this is true or not, he just said, please play T for Two by my cousin, Vincent Humans. Now, I doubt very much that that's your cousin, Joe, because Vincent Humans is long gone, but um, wouldn't that be cute if that was actually a family, um, a family, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, a family connection there. So yeah, let us know, Joe, if that is a family connection for you. Joe is one of our longest standing uh, channel members and channel observers, and uh, we love Joe. And th th there's a story about that violin. I told you that on Sunday, so if you weren't watching, you saw Joe with his fiddle uh, in his arms there, and um, what was that? Oh, that's why. And... Um, that made a funny noise, that shouldn't have done that. Yeah, and uh, the wood from that violin was taken from a German church that burnt down some 500 years ago. Crazy. 
Here's a piece of music called T for Two with a piano. Cha-cha-cha. Don't forget to snap your fingers when you hear cha-cha-cha. That was for Mr. Humans, T for two, from Mr. Humans. Vincent Humans and somebody called Caesar. I wonder what Caesar's first name was. So I'm guessing Vincent Humans wrote the music and Mr. Caesar wrote the words. Who do you suppose Mr. Caesar was? I love this kind of stuff. Isn't this great? Now then, ta-da! There's a lot of good things in, um, a lot of good things in, where are we going here? Oh yes, a lot of good things in Hopwerk version 7, which is this new version. And um, I like it, apart from that thing at the bottom there, but I've seen Jerry's been doing something there. Um, that Jerry de Luzon, good sight, Sean. Oh, oh. Sean. Jerry, have you shown us the solution or have you just sent it to me? Thank you very much in advance. Right, isn't this wonderful? Ah, Theatre Organ Day. Some Day Sweetheart. I 
nice, gentle, lovey-dovey tune. And I'm going to give it a sort of a jazzy, naughty sound here with my... with my naughty registrations. I think it could sound something like this. Here you go.
Oh no, I'm not. Oh God, I forgot to switch my microphone. I'm sorry. Why do I forget to switch it off sometimes and then forget to switch it back on? What was I doing there? I was telling you about my magnificent instrument with this jazzy sound. Ah, and that's basically, remember the Hammond organ? I'll be showing you one of those at some point on the channel as well, if I can find one. Um, and uh, yeah, the Hammond organ has sort of draw bars that you pull out and that makes sort of different coloured sounds. And of course, all these different coloured sounds are here, but you can sort of recreate a jazzy sound. Yeah, using all sorts of goodies there. So then I've got my tibia at various intervals. I've got it at five and a third, four, three and a fifth, two and three thirds, uh, two and two thirds, sorry, two and, you know, and one. And so to make some... And then all sorts of naughty stuff in the middle to make it sound amazing. Pretty good. And, um, and then you get this. So nice snappy stuff there. So you've got a big band, basically. Here's your saxophone. Yeah, and here's your brass. And here's your dirty soloist. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? I love it. And of course, there are all sorts of different things you can do. You can add to that to make it even jazzier. Right, let's play some more jazz. Let's play some more jazz. Just dawned on me, while we're on the subject, let me see if it's in here. I don't think I've ever played it. Uh, it's here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've never played it before. Well, we're talking about T, we're talking about T for Two before, written by Vincent Humans. Vincent Humans wrote another thing that was made famous by Fats Waller on a number of occasions called Hallelujah um, by, oh, Joe Humans has just written it in the chat as well. There you are. Great minds think alike, Joe. Um, and Fats Waller did a wonderful version of Hallelujah, which is great. We need a piano for this, don't we? So let's go back and change the registrations to my, Registrations with piano. For those of you who don't know what theatre organs are, theatre organs are all these sort of instruments in there. You hear a xylophone there and a piano, and those were actual real xylophones and real pianos. Um, you know, pneumatically controlled. You know, pre um, compressed air hitting them. It was great, wonderful stuff. So these things are real. All right, here we are then. Uh, can I do the Fats Waller version of this? Probably not. Yeah, that's the way, isn't it?
Hallelujah from Vincent Humans. I've never played that before. I wish I'd looked at it before. The verse is impossible. What's the verse do? Ha, that's what the verse does. Should have looked at that. Isn't that a cute piece of music? Back to the dirty Jersey stuff then. It's Friday night. We should be in dirty mood for Friday night. So I want this one again, yeah. Now I was showing you my sort of my Hammond organ stuff. If you're interested in the theatre organ world, which you should be, um, and you want to try it out, there are a few things for help work out there, including this one, the Robert Morton, Wonder Morton, as they call it. It's wonderful. And um, something that a lot of people forget when they're playing theatre organs is that you've got different registers. So you can play something down here and it sounds very, very dirty. Ah, isn't that beautiful? Sounds very husky and naughty. And if I play the same thing up here. Doesn't sound quite as dirty, does it? And if I play it even higher. Keep going up and up and up. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, so you've got different registers. Now, if I do the same thing here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you've got all sorts of things. My saxophones that I had earlier. All sorts of different things. Oh, Mrs. Gartor, aren't you beautiful? A tasty, refreshing beverage. Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, where's my, where's my coaster? Oh, here it is. Right, right, put that in there. Mustn't get stains all over the place. Ah, Joe's requested another one. This is something we actually played the other night. Um, Joe, we played this for our Valentine's night and I was messing around with the audience and I said this is for all the you know for for when you were younger feeling more um, there it is uh, when you were feeling feeling friskier in a younger in your younger days a wonderful mm -hmm. piece of music we'll play it again for those who didn't hear it on Sunday night it's called four or five times and I also on Sunday night played six or seven times as well so this is four or five times uh, not by Vincent Humans but for Joe Humans <laughs>
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing it again. I keep forgetting. It's your job. You're supposed to be. My, you're supposed to be my director. You're so, she says I'm getting old, cheeky moo. You're my director. She's busy faffing about on a mobile phone. That's what that is. I beg your pardon. She's ordering herself a birthday present. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you ordering yourself a birthday present? Yeah, it's really something plant. Is it something for a plant? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I see. I thought she was. Oh, I thought she was going to order something for the fig tree. Remember the fig tree that seems to um, seems to. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> she ordered. She ordered a lemon tree. That's nice. That's nice. She loves lemon trees. Our garage at the moment is full. Absolutely full of... Um, so I'm looking for a piece of music while I do this. Absolutely full of... What's the word I'm looking for? There it is. Um, trees. Full of trees. Uh, over the winter, we've got so many citrus trees. And of course, this part of the world is not designed for citrus trees, is it? Um, and they, all, they, they live in the garage over the winter. And we have all sorts of plant lights. I'm sure if the police came by and sort of saw the, through the windows of our garage, they would think there was some kind of plantation going on, if you know what I mean. But it's not. It's all lemon and orange trees, which is quite nice. Anyway, so she's just ordered herself. Actually, your birthday is a Sunday this year, isn't it? <gasps> Vanessa's birthday is a Sunday this year, which means we can do a live stream Vanessa birthday party. Yeah. Oh, she's saying yes. Okay, we can do a birthday party. Are you going to show yourself to the world? Yeah. No. Why not? You have a deal, don't you? Yeah, with James. But that's why I can start with James. What is the deal with James? 50,000? Yeah, um, um, really? No, it's 50,000, isn't it? <laughs> Why not? I don't believe you. Vanessa has a deal with James Flores, the Australian organist, that um, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, which is hopefully quite soon, um, she'll, um, she'll show herself. She will become public, as it were. Um, so, yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Right. Here's a piece of music. Piece of music. I'm confessing that I love you. <clears throat> I'm confessing that I love you. That's romance, isn't it? Here's me pouring my heart out and she's sitting there ordering trees online. What a life.
I'll turn my microphone on. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I can multitask. <sighs> Don't I pay you to be my director? Yeah. Huh? All right. Obviously not. <clears throat> What's that? You was, what will you show? I should hope so too. <laughs> okay, here's a piece of music called I'm Coming Virginia. And no, it's not that. That's another one of those fat swallow tunes that um, it's got so many wonderful harmonies in it. it just doesn't stay still the melody is so simple let me do the melody again for you it's so simple it just doesn't do anything listen to this that's it that's the melody but the harmony just doesn't stop moving listen to this It's 
Isn't that wonderful? It's a perfect piece of music to understand music theory. You know, that one note can have different functions. It can be the third, it can be the fifth, it can be the ninth, it can be the thirteenth. Ooh. It, can be, it can be a major seventh. It can be the minor seventh. It can be, it can be anything you want. It can be the, 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 the prime. Yeah, and all of these, you know, everything has its own function. I think that's wonderful. Duke Ellington. I love Duke Ellington, and we don't have enough Duke Ellington on the channel. Here's one for the weather out there. Tomorrow, it's apparently, once the storm's over, going to be a very sunny day, which means I'm beginning to see the light. Microphone going off now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Microphone on. I'm beginning to see the light. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm beginning to see midnight. It's very, very, very late. So I think this will be our final number for tonight. Oh no! This will be our final number tonight. And it's going to be an old jazz standard that I don't think I've featured on the channel before. No, I don't think I have. 
Again, a fat wallet special, but I'm going to turn it into a sort of a boogie boogie number because we haven't had a boogie tonight and we have to have a boogie, don't we? So it's boogie style. It's not a proper blues boogie. It's just boogie style. And it's called, I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. And that's going to be it for this evening, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this evening's entertainment. I hope the wind has not blown you away too much. I hope the music has blown you away instead. Ha ha! What a terrible play on words. Okay, folks, I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for Friday night is organ music night, featuring our new Skinner organ earlier this evening. That's it. Stay safe. Stay indoors because of all the naughty wind out there, at this part of Europe anyway. Have a wonderful Saturday, and we'll see you on Sunday night. Sunday night is organ music night. I look forward to it. See you then. Night night, everybody. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.